Square Enix is going through a big restructure right now at the company. And a lot of these things are going to majorly affect their AAA titles, their smaller titles, just everything company-wide. Today, the company released their fiscal year's sales reports, along with some news about their plans with the company moving forward. For those that don't know, Square Enix actually got a new CEO last year, who has been implementing a lot of strategies to get the company back on track. And one of these big things, one of these big changes that we got announced today that everyone on social media is very excited about is the shift to a multi-platform strategy. Basically, they're going to support multi-platform releases a lot more. Now, Kingdom Hearts really only saw the multi-plat releases start going crazy around when Kingdom Hearts 3 released. Around that time period, we also got Kingdom Hearts Remix that were previously exclusive to PlayStation on things like the Xbox. We also got a uh, kind of Switch port. Yeah, they need to fix that. But the general plan moving forward is to increase sales via having more accessibility, which is a strategy that a lot of companies have already been doing. But Square Enix, as of late, they've been doing this thing where they've been making a lot of games exclusive to PlayStation with delayed launches on things like PC or Xbox. And it's a little weird, to be honest, because we're in a day and age with gaming where a lot of people just have the console they prefer. Console wars are still kind of a thing, but for the most part, that's a bygone era of gaming and a lot of people just play on what's most convenient to them whether it be the pc whether it be their playstation their switch their xbox whatever it is and making things exclusive to playstation or playstation 5 especially just is a little weird they've done this with final fantasy 16 they've done this with 7 rebirth and while these games are expected to potentially release on pc within the coming year or months maybe just having that delayed release between versions of a game makes for a very separate experience among the community especially right now with how expensive things just are in the world period it's kind of rough to just get up and buy a new console even if it's just for one game so that's a big reason why a lot of people just play what they prefer to play on for me i've gotten very accustomed to just playing on my pc ever since kingdom hearts released on the pc it's been a amazing experience they fixed it and it's become my preferred way to play kingdom hearts now there was this big fear that kingdom hearts 4 would release exclusively on ps5 or not release on the pc at launch because of this recent trend where they've been releasing things exclusively to sony now maybe for other companies it's understandable if you want to keep some things exclusive especially with games that are normally exclusive but when it comes to square enix i think nowadays especially for rpgs things like kingdom hearts final fantasy it just needs to be accessible to everyone because you have Final Fantasy games on pretty much every console. You have them on DS, Nintendo consoles, PC, some on Xbox. You have them everywhere. So why not release the new titles on every system as well? Because some people get into these games through these other pieces of hardware. So they're kind of just alienating them doing that. But there's a little more to this. And if you want to stay tuned with all the news surrounding this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to go ahead and read exactly what was said and then elaborate on it. So the official statement is here. For HD titles, the group will aggressively pursue a multi-platform strategy that includes Nintendo platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, and PCs, especially in regards to major franchises and AAA titles, including catalog titles. It will build an environment where more customers can enjoy our titles. In addition, it will also devise a platform strategy for SD titles that includes not only iOS and Android, but also the possibility of PC launches. Now that's really good for mobile games, mobile games potentially releasing on PC. They did this recently with Final Fantasy Ever Crisis, which is a great addition. I know we would love to see something like this with Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. I hope, I really, really hope. But I mentioned earlier how Square Enix got a new CEO, and this CEO has been shaking up things quite a bit at the company. We got news a couple months ago, I believe, maybe a month ago, where they talked about how they're going to be prioritizing mostly these AAA tiles or these tiles that are most likely going to give them revenue things like final fantasy dragon quest probably kingdom hearts near automata things like that and titles that are a little bit under that might we, we might have to worry about it a little bit on top of some of these changes with just focusing on bigger titles multi-platforms and uh some layoffs that have been happening at the company which i just got news about a lot of things are definitely changing this comes after worries about final fantasy 7 rebirth sales figures it's been speculated by a lot of people that the game hasn't been doing super duper well and this is a little bit supported by the fiscal year sales people are claiming that the company is dying or that final fantasy isn't that lucrative anymore 
despite a amazing streak of games they've been on as of late despite the quality going up up and up amazing reviews across the board for final fantasy rebirth and 16 it doesn't seem to be uh replicated in sales necessarily but a big reason for this is likely because of the exclusivity of some of these titles and also there's a lot of other factors people have to consider here games have gone up in prices a lot of things are just generally more expensive nowadays so i think it's way less that final fantasy isn't lucrative anymore which it definitely is but a lot more so just the time period and the mixture of them doing exclusive things for sony another thing i wanted to talk about in this video is that we don't know how soon this plan will be implemented because there could already be contracts in place with sony for upcoming games like say dragon quest or kingdom hearts 4 that were made ahead of time i'm hoping that's not the case and that all these games can release everywhere for everyone but that could be a possibility so this might be a strategy moving forward but when that starts happening we don't fully know regardless i want to hear guys' thoughts about this i thought this was really interesting because i was very happy to hear about them going with this multi-platform strategy and i hope this means good things for especially kingdom hearts because i personally want the game to launch on pc as it comes out and i hope the pc port's good but i want kingdom hearts to be experienced by everyone not just people who have a playstation so i'm wishing for the best but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace out you guys bye